welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to install DashPy for um, for RBR Pro. So first thing you want to do is go to uh, your app store on your iOS device and type in DashPy. Um, you just want to open it up. It's three three ninety nine, I think, um, to buy it. And then once you've got it, you've got it. Uh, it'll work on loads of other games as well. Um, you see in the top left corner there, you need to make a note of that IP address. Um, and then you'll be have to use that to connect shortly. I'm just showing you now on screen the other dash options. You just want to make sure you have PC select at the top back there. So next thing you want to do is come to the link in the description. Um, it is a DashPy website. You then want to click here. You need also, yes, yeah, so you want to download that there. Windows Connector. That's basically software. I've already got it downloaded, but I'll do it again. You also need .NET Framework 4.5.2 installed on your computer um, for it to work. There's also instructions on here as well, but I'm just doing this more specific for um, RBR Pro and RBR, whereas this is obviously compatible with a lot of other games. Um, which is a good thing. So yeah, download that, open it up, make sure you have the framework installed and then you just want to simply open the folders. You want to open this um, and run it and then it will come up. I'll just go to it now and show you what it looks like because I'm not going to install it twice. Here, so it will look like this when you open it up and this is how you install um, you know when I said earlier you have to make a note your IP address that was on the app so you just want to press the plus button and type in that IP address that was on your screen um, that's obviously my one there and then obviously you can just set up your units to however you um, want them and then just save that you can leave the port forward in for this um, obviously it says there if you want to play LFS Codemasters um, series games then you have to do that but we're not in this time so yeah save that and then if you have the app open on your phone and hit test it should start flashing and blinking all the shift lights and stuff that will sort of confirm that's working um, and then yeah so now to install it into the actual game you have to go into your folder for your Richard Burns rally so um, if you go into the RBR Pro folder here your installation and then you'll go down to your game folder here all you want to do is um, where's the download so here will be the download game plugin and you'll see the one called RBR you just literally got to copy those two into um, into here into your RBR Pro and then game folder and then paste those two in there and it'll say I think it'll say we'll have one file in the in this uh, destination with the same name, um, and you just want to replace that. You will lose the reshade though. Um, just trying to sort out a workaround for that currently, but um, currently that is the only way we can get it to work. But it's not a massive loss in my opinion. But yeah, we'll get a, a way around that sort of eventually. But for now, this is the only way I know of. Um, so yeah, you just want to put them in there, replace. I'm not going to do that because. I don't need to. And then yeah, you just need to go finally into RBR Pro. Here. Um one thing quickly, you will there will be in here somewhere um D three D nine. You basically when you drag in your new one it should automatically replace the old one, but if it doesn't, um then you've just got to make sure you have deleted the older one. Um, but because I that's where I went wrong, I had a few issues with it. That's why I thought I'd make a video. Um, so yeah, just make sure you've installed the new one and got rid of the older one. Um, so that comes in your folder here. So just clarifying that really. So yeah, back to here. You want to come to your options, video, and then your graphics quality. You just want to change that to custom DirectX 9, and then you'll start your game. Um, and I'll just show you some gameplay quickly but it's as simple as start the game loading a stage and your phone will be as long as you've got the app open on the screen connected the IPs correctly, configured all that 
it'll just work as it should straight out of the box and then you can obviously swipe on your phone screen to change to the different dashes um, that are preset in the app. There are ways to make your own dashes for the for different games and stuff but I haven't really looked into that too much because I think the ones on there are good enough really so yeah I'll just put a, a little clip of some gameplay nothing much really just so you can see it working but yeah that's it really thanks for watching guys hope this was um, helpful for some of you we should have some more content up in the next few days so yeah thanks for watching goodbye